Hello Aries and welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Aries. If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment and share the content if that's what you feel like doing. I really do love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katytarot.com. So Aries, let's call in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy. For the week ahead, guidance for Aries, please spirit. Guidance for Aries, please spirit. This is a general reading, Aries. So please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Guidance for Aries, please. Guidance for Aries for the week ahead. Guidance for Aries for the week ahead. Guidance for Aries, please, spirit. Messages that need to come through now for Aries, please, spirit. Messages for Aries. Your energy, Aries, and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. Beautiful energy here of contemplation. Contemplation. I'm seeing that you are... In meditation Aries you're going within you're seeking answers this week for something or about someone or about a situation for yourself perhaps you're seeking answers you're going within you're meditating or you there may just be a deep reflection here and some deep thinking that's happening uh, this week Aries about a particular area of your life Aries and it's going to be different for everybody of course what area of life that is I am seeing angelic protection around you very, very strongly, Aries. Now, this card says yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind and spiritual growth right now. So some of you may be involved in yoga, exercise of some kind um, that's going to help you uh, ground you, bring you back to center. You may be focused on your well-being and self-care this week, Aries, and that's a very positive thing. There is peace of mind that you're wanting to bring about, some clarity, and I'm seeing you're getting that connection to spirit that you are desiring, that clarity of thought, so then you can have purposeful action moving out into the week. So I love this for you. Spiritual growth is around you as well, so if you are focusing on your spirituality this week, it's going to be heightened. So beautiful energy to start your reading, Aries. Let's take a look at your next card. Have the energy of the moon. The moon is a very psychic energy. So I'm picking up for you, Aries, that you're going to be receiving some very important messages psychically. I feel for a lot of you, it is going to come psychically. For others, it may come through normal means, conversations and communication with others. I feel that this is going to be very intense. There's a very intense energy here, especially when it comes to listening to your intuition and your psychic visions or what you're wanting to um, manifest. That You're going to get very clear about this. So you're going within first, a lot of angelic protection and guidance. And then Aries, I'm seeing that you're going to be formulating, planning uh, your next move. You're going to have a clear understanding of what your next move is going to be. So brace yourself for what is coming next, Aries, because I am seeing that this uh, deep intuition, this psychic energy vision, what the vision you have for your future, um, there is a very powerful, very powerful movement in this area of your life. Also pay attention to the moon cycle. Uh, this week, Aries, is going to be very um, important for your energies. There is also a sense here um, of you being connected to a divine feminine energy. This could be your own inner divine feminine. Um, this could be a past over loved one that you're connected to. Perhaps someone in your life that you look up to or that nurtures you. There is a divine feminine energy I'm seeing coming through here with this card. The moon is also Pisces card, so I will say that there may be a Pisces around you, Aries. Now this card says, pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Yes, I love that, Aries. You're going to be moving ahead confidently. 
Pay attention at this time to your intuition. Beautiful. We have the Bowerbird. Really nice, interesting energy here for you, Aries. I'm seeing that you're gathering up what you need. Uh, information, resources, you're looking at um, what you have in front of you materially, whether that's your work, uh, what you're doing for work, your career, your life purpose, or whether this is to do with finances, getting everything lined up. Because you're saving, you're doing, there's, there's a purpose for this manifestation that you're wanting to bring through. There's a purpose. It may take a while, Aries. It may take a while to come to fruition. It may take a while to what you're planning to do to come through and be exactly how you want it to be um, in, this, uh, in this world. Okay, so bring it through the manifestation that you want it will take time. But I feel that you're aware of that. You're collecting um, what you need uh, at the moment, you're assessing what you have and, and you're going to be building upon what you have. So then it will be very abundant for you in the future. That's the energy I'm receiving from that card. Lovely energy. Let's take a look at this card here. This is a romance card. Let's take a look at what it says. Playfulness. Playfulness, Aries. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together and remember love is the greatest healer. So there is healing energy here for a relationship. It is romantically, um, the energy is romantic for a lot of you here. This is a romance card, playfulness, um, having fun and laughter. Perhaps things are getting too serious in your relationship, Aries. So playfulness and laughter and having fun is coming out as being very important for you this week. Let's take a look at where you're at, Aries. You're going to be looking at your resources. Yes, very much ties into this energy here. You're going to be looking at your resources, what you have, maybe looking at contracts and agreements and seeing if you can make something work for you, maybe you and your partner or you and your family or you and your company, making sure that everything is in alignment. You have greater vision though here, Aries. You have a bigger vision than what you see in front of you. Yes, you really do. And will you be able to bring it through to manifestation? Yes, I feel that you will be able to do that in time. But at the moment, this week, it's about looking at the details of things, looking at where things are right now. And that's important. So then you can utilize this energy. You'll be going within. You'll be uh, focused uh, on yourself. And, and what's your, what is your heart really saying in this situation, how can you build from where you are currently? The page of wands, this is a new venture. This is something you're stepping out and into um, a new interest, perhaps, or in this, what you're wanting to create. It's something very, um, very new. You're, you're wanting to build on what you have already, but you are moving into newness. This is also a child or youth or someone younger than you that may be taking your time, your focus, your energy uh, this week, Aries. Let's take a look at this card here. You may have um, you may have an air sign around you, Aries. Uh, sorry, an earth sign, not an air sign, an earth sign around you, uh, Aries, because uh, we have the pentacle suit coming up and this is a person here. So you may have an earth sign around you. A Virgo, a Capricorn or a Taurus. This may also be highlighted in your chart as well very strongly. Um, I like this energy uh, because you, this is the bigger picture energy, Aries. Bigger picture for abundance for you. Um, very abundant materially. Very abundant spiritually because I'm seeing that in the first card and the second card here. There is these two energies tie together really well because you're looking at what you're wanting to create for the longer term, Aries. When it comes to the heart, we have the two of cups, your emotions, your emotional body, your emotional body this week, Aries, togetherness, togetherness. So this is togetherness with a loved one and you're on the same page. You're working together. There's harmony, there's balance, and you're both working toward the same goal or the, the bigger picture here, which you, you both agree upon. So I love that. Okay, so we have the wands energy, the action suit. 
So you're wanting to take action, but you're afraid of getting hurt in some way, Aries, or there you're going to have to take a tumble or you know you're going to have to take a step back or you're going to perhaps falter before you move forward or there's some things that you have to there's things you have to iron out. That's what I'm seeing here, Aries. But will you be able to do it? Yes, I see that you have a higher vision here, Aries. So you've got an amazing, um, amazing energy around you this week. So I hope you have a wonderful week ahead, Aries. And I will talk to you all again soon.